Hey guys, welcome back to the Bailey Workshop. Welcome to the guitar making channel. Um, yeah, I've got something I really want to get off my chest this morning. I'm going to get straight on with it very shortly. I'm going to show you um, a super duper trick that um, for joining bodies. So here's a body blank. Um, now one of my most popular videos is actually how to join the body blank. Uh, and a comment recently appeared actually the comment appeared on a different video which is why it's took me a while to find it um, but a guy called Mads Anderson and I'm sorry I can't pronounce your last name <laughs> um, but Mads Anderson left a comment on the video that I made about joining bodies and he said <clears throat> he said thank you for sharing think you should get a plane for the body well obviously I have a plane for the body I do use planes um, but I was trying to show you ways where you don't have to actually buy a plane he goes on um, by the way use a little salt when gluing that really helps thanks again I can tell you guys that confused the hell out of me use a little salt when gluing so uh, I probably left him a strange reply like um, thanks for that I feel like I've entered the twilight zone or something but then a couple of weeks later I was joining bodies um, like these different angle Sorry about that folks, yeah I forgot to mention we've got Carol over there on the flight controls doing our best. It's live, so yeah the postman could turn up at any minute, anything could go wrong. But here's our two pieces, um, um, by the way use a little salt when gluing that really helps thanks again. I was thinking what, put glue on the glue join or something like that? How strange, um, so I ignored it. It tumbled round in my head for a couple of weeks and then we were joining some body blanks and uh, it just popped into my head what if we could put something abrasive in between the two bits of wood and rub them on top of each other I wonder if they would join easier and then I remembered Mads comment Mads Anderson so I poured a little bit of salt into the join rubbed the two bits together and I couldn't believe it it was like magic so um, I guess you'd probably call me an old dog now I'm learning new tricks so thanks Mads I would like to send you a little something if you get in touch with me um, send me a private message I haven't worked out how to do that on YouTube I don't know how to send you a private message so I've, I've left a, a reply to your comment and maybe you'll turn up and today hopefully in the comments and you can get in touch and I can thank you personally but anyway if you're watching this in hindsight I'd like to thank you Mads Anderson for this incredible tip I wish I could take credit for it myself but um, what I can do is I can share it with you guys so let's let me just show you how it works it's, it's amazing this is gonna amaze you it amazed me your wife won't believe it your dog won't believe it Carol is not going to believe it when she finds out I've taken a <gasps> fine Mediterranean sea salt. <laughs> but it works with any salt. Yeah, well, why did you use the cheap stuff then? Because that's the only one I could find. Okay. Right, so let me see if I can demonstrate to you the problem. Can we have this other camera on, Carol? Just Yeah, this camera come, please. Camera. Mini camera. Okay. Right, let me see if you can see. Can you see that tiny little gap there? Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, look at that close up cam. So you can see it's almost there. In fact, it's, it's a pretty good fit. It's just not quite perfect. Okay, well let's just try this. So, 
if we could focus down on the um, on the b b the vice here, Carol. going to mark these two bits of wood just so that when I when I'm testing them I'm always testing them the same way um, bit in the vice so as you saw <laughs> yeah apparently people like it when I drop the things so if you've seen the vi previous video I made I'm not going to go through the whole procedure again because you've already seen it. Um, it's called joining the body blanks and it's actually one of the lessons from my online course. So as you see I don't do too much waffling, I get on with it. Um, it's all very well edited. Unlike our live streams which are ropey as So we use a combination of sanding blocks and scrapers to prepare this surface. I'm just going to do it very quickly to demonstrate. Now this can take five minutes or it can take two hours. But my new trick means that well hopefully it will never take two hours again so um, we put the two bits together now it's a little bit better fit I don't know can we see um Can't see where I'm pointing it unless you put it on the camera. Right. Focus. No. I'll take it back to the bench. You can maybe see there's still a little gap in the middle. You can't actually see through it from there. There's still a little gap in the middle. It's a little bit better. But oh that's what you guys look like. Um, salt. Now check this. Don't need a lot. Oh, a nice angle. Bit of salt on there. Any old salt. I'm just going to rub it backwards and forwards. And in case you're wondering, I did have the bright idea of trying this with sand. So I went down the shore, got some sand and tried that. Um, it didn't work. I'm guessing because the sand is rounded and it's not sharp enough so it doesn't do the job. Um, the salt it seems to not matter what size the crystals are because they break down. Give it another go. The crystals of salt break down into smaller and smaller pieces until the pieces of wood seat together perfectly. kind of feel them you can you can maybe see that it's better now I would always scrape to finish so let's give it a scrape to get rid of the excess salt different angle please 
cow. Take off any salt and scratches. Do that with both pieces, obviously. So your job, guys, is to try this at home. Tell me how you get on. And leave a comment below if it helped or not. It's certainly not going to do any harm. Now that fits together pretty well. Still got a tiny gap, but it's but, but the gap is smaller than it was. Let me demonstrate. Let me see if I can get that out and show you. Now this trick is especially helpful if you've got a piece where it's rocking. Look, you can't even see the join. Where's my thumb? Oh, you can't see the thumb. There's the join there. <laughs> Look how good my join is, guys. You can't even see it. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Look at that, though. It's perfect at the ends. There's still a little bit in the middle where it's not perfect. Oh, yeah. There we go. There's our gap. But it's smaller than it was. So I don't want to bore you with doing the whole thing, but that is a great little trick. Um, camera angle. I'm going to just quickly have a look at this other piece here. Let's have a look at this one. You see a gap there, look. There it is. Too slow on the camera, my dear. You're going to be in it a lot if you do that. Okay, so hopefully you got the idea of that. Now I want to show you another amazing little trick. So, how, how cheap was that, guys? Now I want to show you another trick. So, we normally use clamps. So here's uh, the clamps that we normally use. Put that to one side. Those are expensive. I'm going to show you an alternative. Sellotape, guys. What about this? Didn't expect that, did you? So instead of clamps, we can glue this together. Just using sellotape. The thing about the sellotape is, it stretches. Carol, a, you can't see it, what I'm doing. Solitaire stretches. So if, you, if you pull it tight, that will clamp those bits together hard. When you're clamping a body blank, you don't need colossal amounts of pressure. Really, you just need to hold the two pieces together for long enough for the glue to dry. 
Now this is what I would call dry clamping. I'm cl clamping with no glue. I usually do this for a test run. There you go. So just two pieces for now. Body blank. So obviously I've done it with no glue. If I was to add glue to that, then we've got ourselves a ready to work body blank. Right. How much money did that save? Loads. Now you can buy blanks ready to work. In fact, that's what I recommend. Here's a few body blanks already joined up. So these are available on our these are available on our site. I'm a professional carol, I can handle my tea. Right, so here's some body blanks for instance. So these are um this is what we sell in our shop. So um, if you look on our shop and you think our oh, wood is expensive, um, it is more expensive than other places, but that's why. It's because we've spent the time to join them and take them down to thickness for you. So you have to be careful on the thickness to make sure you, your piece of wood is thick enough for what, if you're having a trem for instance, make sure it's thick enough for your trem. So 44 mil is about minimum. Um, our body blanks used to be 46 mil, but they've recently gone down to 44. So that's a 44 mil blank. As you can see, it's plenty, plenty enough for a trem. Um, the trem will actually sit an eighth of an inch above the body. So um, even more room if you've got a low profile trem. This is a, a normal trem. So 44 mil thick body blanks available from the online store guitarmaking.co.uk links are all in the description I forgot to say guys if you're new to the channel and you found any of that useful then um, don't forget to subscribe uh, and like and share the video and all that kind of stuff because we're on a mission got to get to 5,000 subscribers 5,000 subscribers can you believe it I can't believe it so let's do a YouTube update while we're on that subject. YouTube update. So I started this channel really just to put a few promotion videos um, for my courses, my online courses. Um, what I did was I took, we run workshop courses, people come from all over the world to my workshop um, and I filmed the whole process, put it all online. So you start with a blank piece of paper all the way through the process until you've finished with your your finished guitar that you've designed and built yourself that's for both electrics and acoustics so that's what I've spent the last four years doing is building this guitar making academy um, guitarmaking.co.uk which is why you haven't seen me a lot on YouTube um, but like I say I created this channel just to put the promo videos up and people started to subscribe um, and it's gradually built up I only put 10 videos on the channel and it built up until it was over 4,000 subscribers. Um, so at that point, I started to feel a bit guilty. And uh, also, obviously current events kicked in, the coronavirus kicked in, and we thought it'd be a good idea to just start hitting YouTube with some live streams. So I recently did a whole series where we built this guitar completely from scratch. Um, there's a playlist build your own guitar so on this channel guitar making channel if you watch the playlist build your own guitar then you'll see basically everything you need to know to build a guitar basic guitar like this if you need more detail um, the problem with YouTube is everything gets mixed up and it's all so distracting um, so if you want to avoid all that then go to the channel sorry go to my website guitarmaking.co.uk the links are all down there and uh, if you want to get on the full courses then you need to become a premium member 
or you can just become a supporter and there's free plans and all kinds of stuff available on the site so YouTube has now become really my main kind of work because we can't run workshop courses anymore people aren't allowed to travel to the workshop um, so can't run workshop courses we're also gigging musicians so our gigs have obviously they've dried up because of the current events um, so yeah I've found myself come full circle I'm now busking again on YouTube um, I used to go busking with my guitar when I was a kid now I feel like um, I've come full circle and now I'm I'm the guitar making busker folks um, yeah I like to do stuff live and show you as fast as I can how stuff happens but obviously when you are doing it live things go wrong you drop stuff the postman turns up and I waffle a lot more than I should so the courses are there for you guys who want you want to get in there and get all the information without any of the waffle so um, If, if you've got any questions, by the way, I'm going to answer those in a minute. Um, but I just want to read out to you um, this message that we got recently from... Well, I won't tell you who it's from. But it doesn't matter who it's from. But um, someone who recently watched the, uh, the YouTube stuff. So he says, um, I thought I'd write properly to thank you both for the work you put into the lockdown build. I'm in awe of both the skill and the teaching method you used and the chat between you both truly added a sparkle. That's you Carol. <laughs> I dreamed of building guitars since my teens but wasn't wasn't iffy a particularly snotty luthier I knew was completely disparaging. So with retirement becoming a real possibility, I started to think again about my passion and decided to learn on easier builds, cigar box builds, etc., which I've been doing for 18 months or so. Finding your channel a couple of weeks ago has been a revelation. I have the tools I need. Yes. So here's a guy. He's been tinkering a bit and he's watched my videos and he's realized that he's already got the tools that he needs. Um, Tools is obviously one of the major things that people think is going to stop them from building a guitar. And the truth is you don't need a whole lot of tools. I've just shown you how to avoid buy buying clamps and stuff to make your own body blanks. Um, so my course is full of stuff like that to save you time and money. And um, that's what it's all about. So, so thanks for that. Um, it means a lot to get feedback like that. Um, you know, it kind of makes it all worthwhile. I think there was a bit of, um, what do you call it, spell checker in the middle there. It didn't really make sense. But the gist of it was, he dreamed of guitar, building guitars when he was a teenager and he met a snotty luthier who told him, basically, he was completely disparaging. Um, people will tell you it can't be done. You can't do it. Well, I'm here to tell you that you can do it and not only that but I'll show you how to do it so that's what we're all about here that's what my courses are all about um, what I've decided is I'm gonna focus on individual little issues that you guys might have like for instance joining the body blanks so there's an example um, it is for for some strange reason it's my most popular video on the channel how to join the body blanks I think it's because it's a specific job that people are searching for and so that's what I'm going to try and focus on with the YouTube channel is um, for now at least specific little things I've got a lot of things I want to get off my chest right um, let's start with um, what's next so coming up I did ask like I say I've been working on my guitar making Academy website for the last four years and when we first started 
Um, I've been asking, since we started, I've been asking people what they want me to do. And there's a whole list of stuff. So we've got finishing course. Now that is top of my list also, so we'll, that is definitely coming. Um, drop top. Now, I think I might actually glue this up, guys. And on Wednesday, I think I might focus on how to make a drop top guitar. What do you think about that? So coming up Wednesday, I'm going to turn this body blank into a drop top guitar. If you're not sure what a drop top is, it's where you get a thin, um, you've got a fancy piece of wood on the top and it's, it's curved like you would normally get on say uh, on a guitar with the elbow carve but it's got a top on it which is curved to match the top so it's not carved but it's glued on and it's curved so it's called a drop top made famous by um, Tom Anderson drop tops and also my old pal Rob Williams guitars so Rob Williams was kind of the UK drop top builder um, so I'm going to show you how to make a drop top guitar body on Wednesday so that's coming up don't miss that I'll probably use this one or I might use this one that's a bit of older so on the website we're selling mahogany body blanks the older and um, we've got some other options haven't made it to the website yet but they are coming why would why would anybody buy a blank off you Mark? Um, the reason you would buy a blank off me even though our blanks are a little bit more expensive than everybody else is because I've done all this work for you or one of the one of team Bailey hi team Bailey at home on lockdown how you doing folks won't be long now back in the workshop on full steam <laughs> can't wait so um yeah <laughs> why would they buy them off me yeah. yeah and we need all the support we can get <laughs> no, but it's a serious question, yeah, yeah the, so um it's not easy joining body blanks and once they've been joined sometimes you'll get a step well I've got machines so we can put this through the machine to make it flat again so getting a piece of wood flat and straight is half the battle believe it or not You'll learn that if you set out on a guitar making um, crusade. You'll learn that joining wood is actually one of the hard parts um, and also finishing. So we've got... Um, and, and I'm, I'm sorry to interrupt you, but they're, they're sanded on and they're ready to work. Yeah, they're ready to work on. So yeah, the I showed blanks. them the ready to work on blanks. That's the ready to work on blank as supplied by guitarmaking.co.uk. Beautiful. And they're all the best highly top quality wood you can get the same wood that I use for all my guitars so drop tops coming up finishing course coming up um, someone wants um, tool maintenance like sharpening blades and chisels etc so yeah that's handy but you don't need it when you're beginning because you'll probably be either you, uh, you won't need that many tools and you'll be buying them new so they'll be already sharp um, but yeah sharpening tools is definitely something that you'll have to get into if you want to be a guitar maker at some point but maybe not at the beginning so we will get to that we've got fitting an acoustic pickup that's coming up um, somebody wanted through neck strat so we I did cover through necks in one of the recent live streams again this is the problem with YouTube um, it's there somewhere if you look through my back previous catalog of live streams you'll find it but um, I think what we need to do is go back through them and Joe Rogan style chop them up and put them out as individual chunks so people can search for the individual chunks as my streams can be anything up to two hours long two and a half hours um, so that is the problem with YouTube um, which is you don't have that problem with um, the courses on the site so that's what that's all about really um, through next strat already covered you'll just have to look through the previous videos um, to find it um, carved top thin line 335 type yeah so 335s are coming also because we've got our pal 
Darren, Darren King from Bag Press UK, who's helping us with the the laminations. So um, we're certainly working on the 335 stuff, so that's coming. Got another question? Well, I just wanted to tell you that William Boy uh, from Brazil, you remember William? Um, Hi, William, in Brazil. He came on the course and is now building guitars in Brazil. Nice one. So, yeah, William came on the course and he's now back in Brazil yeah. building guitars. Yeah, well done, fantastic. nice one. Spread the word, share, like, and all that. Um, someone's asking for a small acoustic. Um, well, if you go on the course, then you can design your own acoustic. You can make it as big or as small as you want. So that's covered, I think. And on the course, it starts literally with a blank piece of paper. So you can choose your own scale length and you can make your own dream guitar, whatever it is you want. So that's already covered. Binding for bodies and necks. So um, there is a basic binding procedure on the course, on the acoustic build course. It's in the bonus section. So yeah, on the course there's also a bonus section for each course um, where I've added in some extra stuff and Binding the body of an acoustic guitar is in there, so that is available. You have to be a premium member though to get that sort of content. Um, binding a neck is a little bit more difficult. It's actually not the binding of the neck, it's the fretting afterwards it makes it a lot more tricky. So I don't recommend it for a beginner, but it's definitely on the list. Um, so we'll get to that at some point. Um, so this is a list of all stuff that's coming up, folks. Um, Inlays, yes. Now I've filmed the whole course on inlays, so that is definitely coming. I just wish that I could edit faster. Inlays, I'm working on that. Um, I might drop in a little quick inlay on a Saturday or a Wednesday. All right, so keep your eyes out for that, guys. Neck profiles. So someone wants to know about C, V, and D neck profiles. It's easy to do when you're making your own. Um, it basically comes down to how big you make those um, the side facets when you're carving your neck. So that's all covered on the course. Um, again, carving the neck any shape you want. But I'll probably do maybe cover that again in a workshop weekend or a Saturday. Um, how how you can carve different neck profiles. You know the C, the vintage V, and the D profile. It's really simple, really, to do by hand. Um, we'll maybe cover that in a live session coming up. CNC people want to know about. We don't need no dirty stinking CNC! <laughs> we do it all by hand here, but I'm jealous of you guys with CNCs. So I think probably this year, I've been saying this for a while, probably this year I will cave and buy a CNC. Ooh. Carol's booing over there but it is it's crazy really that we, we're not doing it and I would love to for you guys to follow my CNC adventure as we start out from knowing zero about CNC's and working with hand tools um, to go into CNC it'd be an interesting um, journey wouldn't it guys I think that would be good nearly there so bolt on neck done We've got a course on bolt on neck that's already available on the course on guitarmaking.co.uk. Links in the description. Multi laminate through neck. Yes, um, I did that in a recent live stream. Uh, laminate necks. Um, but I think I might do another special on multi laminate through neck where we actually make the neck block that I use for my Exotica guitar. Um, which is a through neck uh, electric guitar um, well, the Exotica doesn't have a cap so yeah th through neck can be with or without a cap and it's um, it's similar but there are differences so there's two ideas right there we could do specials on um, and the last one is arch top guitar so I do have students building arch top guitars but unfortunately um, I haven't actually filmed a full-on archtop guitar course um, 
but it's definitely on the list and at some point we will get to that also so that is just some ideas of what we've got coming up um, so if you're interested in any of that or if there's anything that I didn't mention then leave a comment please in the description and I'll get to it I'll do my best um, that's what I'm here for so I've already done the great big long form courses it took me four years to build those courses design and build your own electric and acoustics so now I'm on YouTube um, having a bit more fun with some shorter videos and just showing you some little tips and tricks um, so that that's what this channel is going to be all about so if, if you want more of that and make sure you subscribe and all that sort of malarkey Carol's got a question well I've got just, just some updates that um uh, Ian Gemmell said that the salt and salt thing was absolutely brilliant. He was absolutely brilliant. He was going to try it. Yeah, it but works, then, guys. EP, can you just recap what you did? Because there's people been coming and going, and um, there's people that have arrived and have missed it, and they were just asking, what what were you doing? What were you doing with the salt? Were you were you? You know how this works, though, don't you? Hollows? You can rewind it. <laughs> I know, but I just thought you might be worth just reminding. All right, I'll go, go through it again then. Just say that it's but I've got other stuff. I've got something else no, I want to do. They can rewind it and watch it again. Yeah, so, just so guys, I used. Recap what you did. I will recap. So recap what I did earlier. You could rewind it, but I'm going to recap anyway. Um, yeah, we used salt in between there to make a seamless glue joint. Believe it or not. Well, actually, I didn't quite finish. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it another little tickle when I've signed off, and then I'm gonna glue it up. And then next Wednesday, come in, I'm gonna make it into a drop top guitar blank. Drop top coming up next. That's on the list, so I can tick another one off the list. We're just gonna keep ticking them off the list, guys, until it's all done, and then I'm gonna retire. I wish. Um, Black Pearl Guitars, Dennis McPherson has said um, he's recommended a, uh, uh, just a download for a thing, for a CNC thing that you could look at. Thank you. Links in the description for CNC stuff. Brilliant. So Carol, can you point the camera down here then so I can show them the recap? Right, so what we did was... I didn't mean to... We... We used the old block and scrape a trick to get our body blank as flat as possible. I made a whole video explaining this. I'm not going to go through it all again. We did that to both pieces and then sometimes it can take a long time and you, you get frustrated with it. You just can't quite get that last little bit. Well here's the trick. If you put salt on it magical properties of salt if you just rub the two pieces together it acts as an abrasive and the two pieces will sit together perfectly try it and I wish I could take credit for that but that was one of my amazing YouTube viewers one of you guys one of you guys, um, Matt Anderson, gave us that tip. So thanks, Matt. Mads Anderson. You can feel it starting to grip. And then we just give it another little scrape. We don't want any salt in there when we're actually gluing. There we go. Right, don't go away folks, I've got another stunt. I've got, another I've got an amazing stunt to finish on. You won't believe it. Nor will your wife Stop. or your dog. Wow. So this is what we call candling. We hold it up to the light, look for gaps. I showed you this earlier guys, um, let's see if we can get Carol to do another shot. If you remember there was a big gap 
great big gap in this one okay. look at that it's still the tiniest gap at this end but it's, it's actually off the guitar that is look at the rest of it absolutely perfect and that took seconds almost perfect look there's still a little gap at the end that took seconds to do that it's a great tip so thanks for that right let's do some stunt guitar making dun, 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 dun. Right, this is where it all goes pear shaped folks. Right, remember last on the last live stream. Oh, what did we do? On the last live stream, we made this scarf neck blank, didn't we? Look solid uh, let's just make a bit of sawdust and then I'm going to show you right I'm often asked about adding dowels and biscuits into the joints on guitars people say don't you need to put dowels in there and biscuits if you don't know what a biscuit is it's just like a long thin dowel biscuit shaped dowel so if you remember there's a little I, I left a little step there I'm gonna machine that off now dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun, dun. I'm not I was gonna call this channel the grumpy guitar maker <laughs> What do you think guys? Yeah, Alternative sure. channel name. <laughs> the Grumpy Guitar Maker. Because let's face it, guitar makers are quite a grumpy bunch. Aren't they? I ought to make a video about that. There's a reason for that. Health and safety folks, look at that. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 look at that. Stick a veneer on that, absolutely beautiful. Right now, people always say it can't be strong enough. Um, I'm going to prove to you now that it's strong enough and if this goes wrong then um, I've only got myself to blame haven't I really dun, 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 dun. Carol come on this is important we need a this is my finale my big finale folks Right now, before I um, before I attempt this stunt, do we have any final questions? Well, somebody's um, Mike Abbott was asking, what is the little acoustic there, and asking who's that for? Okay, let's do a little acoustic update, and then I'll do the the final for my last trick. Acoustic update, then Carol over here. Right, this is an acoustic guitar that I'm building for Ed. Carol. Sorry, I changed it. 
I'm going to take it off the pattern. I'm getting ready to glue my curved lining on. So this is what I was doing. Um, this is what I was doing before before you guys came. Um, this is a, a dreadnought that I'm making for uh, a guy called Ed. Um, and I've just got a, a little message to write inside for him and glue the curved lining on. That's between me and him, eh? Nice. So. And also, last, last thing is that uh, people are asking again about uh, the guitar, Lockdown Lily or May Hogany, what we're going to do with it. We haven't decided. Yes, yet. we're still deciding what to do with the Lockdown guitar. Um, I think we've got a poll, so go to the guitar making channel, hit the community tab and you'll, you'll see that there's a poll, um, what shall we do with the guitar, raffle it, oh, yeah, that was... auction it or something else and if you want to say something else at least give us a clue <laughs> what you want us to do because if something else wins and you haven't told us what it is then what are we going to do, we're going to have to have another poll or something. <laughs> Anyway, this is the lockdown guitar that we made. Um, yeah, I did it as, I was gonna do it over several weeks, but it turned into a speed build because, um, well, lockdown looked like it was coming to an end. While we're on the subject of speed builds, just wanna mention that um, there are other makers on YouTube who do this kind of thing and have done like speed builds, but I've been doing it for years. I was there first, guys. <laughs> There's actually footage of me somewhere in Manchester, years and years and years ago. Um, long before all these other guys were doing it, I was the first guy I built guitars live in front of um, the crowds at the guitar shows back in the day. So I did it several times. I did it at the London guitar show. You can see my thing there. That was in 2007. It wasn't the first time I did it. Did Birmingham? Um, Manchester. Also did it in Birmingham. I've done it. We actually got asked to go to Italy. So that was 2007. I was doing speed builds live. Um, we got invited to Italy. I went to Italy um, twice to do speed builds. One time I took everything that I needed to build a whole guitar in a suitcase, including the wood and all the tools. <laughs> Got to say, Customs was uh, very interested, especially on the way back, because they found my, um, I had about a kilo of cheese. <laughs> uh, parmesan, oh, that's lovely, parmesan. And uh, yeah, the, the, the Italian custom guys, he found my parmesan. Let me go, he said. <laughs> it was, no, he was very proud. Yeah, proud they, they were very Italian proud that I was smuggling their cheese Italian out. Cheese. Right, we've had a guy from Tyler has just joined. Tyler Giovanni, he's just joined and he's asked, um, he has a slab of two inch thick cherry wood. Is that thick enough to do a one piece arch top? It's uh, 5.08 centimetres. I'm not entirely sure what you mean by an arch top. If you mean like a carved top, like a PRS or a Les Paul, then then yes you can do that yeah sure certainly um if you mean an arch top like a hollow body with f holes then no um well actually the blanks for a hollow body arch top are only an inch thick or an inch and a quarter thick um so yes you could um you would use it for the back but you would only need an inch of it and then you'd need to find some sides so i'm assuming that you mean a carved top electric guitar and then the answer is yes. Right then, are we ready for our, my final stunt? Before we lose all our viewers, let's do it. So everybody asks me, they don't know, uh, a lot of people don't believe that the glue joint is strong enough. Carol, less up here, more down here. Can I see the other angle, please? I want, I want to see this angle, the close up one. 
because I'm going in close. Oh, look at that. Right, are you ready for this, guys? Live on the internet. With no safety net. This could go horrifically wrong. <laughs> are you ready for this? You didn't tell me you were doing this. I didn't, didn't tell Carol. You stupid shoes on as well, and you red traps. <laughs> right, you ready? That is all my weight on this guitar. Look, I'm not holding on to anything. Oh. Round of applause, please. <laughs> Can you switch camera, Carol, please? Which, what two? This, this one? Yeah. Right, okay. Because thought... there's a massive delay on that one. What about that then? I'm guitar surfing. Yee-hoo! <laughs> I'm surfing the guitars. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't you do that on the... That, you need right, to does anybody want to buy a guitar? You need to make a health and safety, a safety statement now. <laughs> All right, health and safety. Don't try that at home, kids. That's only for professional guitar makers. You're probably thinking, ah, oh, but he hasn't cut the shape of the neck out. I have done that with a finished neck. <laughs> but I'm not going to do it now, because I've took enough risks for one day. Right. <laughs> Thanks, guys. And, uh, yeah, if you enjoyed that, don't forget to share it, like it, subscribe, all that rubbish that YouTube loves. Hopefully you enjoyed my little demonstration of joining... The, the guitar bodies um, brilliant that's mark out job done thanks guys see you, see you Wednesday